Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today I will be super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 5 Series from year uh, 2010 to year 2017. This is the F10 F11 generation. If you need to remove or replace interior, rear interior door handle because it's really sticky, falling apart, it's terrible, stay with us, we'll explain how to do that. You can get the whole kit front rear ones for a really good price and I'll put the link in the description of the video below where we get ours from. Now, uh, if you guys, uh, uh, let let me just introduce you to the channel quick. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way, we can keep making these free videos for you. So let's go ahead, start on it. If you do something's wrong, you can damage quite a bit the door panel, the lightning, electronics, and that could be expensive. So make sure to stay until the end, and we'll explain what we're talking about. So now, first thing, that trim piece needs to come out. It's a little bit tricky, make sure to stand till the end. If you do it wrong, you can cause quite a bit of damage. Here, you will have the tube lightening underneath, so do not pry there. How come? Okay, in the corner a little bit. Okay, let me see on which side I need to actually come, guys. Okay. Not to cause damage, so I need to get a little bit of light. Okay, to analyze everything. To make sure that okay we don't cause damage because uh, those things are fragile guys okay it came out on this side now right here okay it looks like okay there is one clip right here guys what we were supposed to do okay this one was supposed to actually come in a different way and I'll explain the correct way for that. Right here there is one metal clip that you need to compress. Okay, that metal clip right here, you see you need to press it in to release it. What we were supposed to do guys, let me explain. We were supposed to start on this side first. Then you get to the metal clip, release it, and then that piece is supposed to come last, okay, in an angle like that. Now, we were able to do it, it did not break, okay, but actually it could. So the correct way to do it, okay, is to start on this side, push the metal thing, then come in an angle, slide to the front, okay, and come out. Otherwise, okay, we'll damage that trim. Here is the lighting tube, that's... Okay, really guys, okay, really gentle and if you pry on it, you can easily crack it. Now, we need to remove that cover here and here there is, a, there is clips that can actually break unfortunately, so we'll try our best not to. Okay, let me see. Okay, one popped out, that one usually pops out really easy. On the back you have lightning tube again here. So I'm trying my best. Not to break things. I'm trying to release the clip if I can. And let's see. I just don't want to crack this one too. I broke a front one in the past. Okay, this one came out. Now we come to the top and it comes out. Let me see if I broke any, no. Okay, this clip right here and one on top, all of them are good. Okay, one right there, one here. So, we saved it this time, guys. Okay. Now here. Okay, let's see if we have any screws. We actually might have not even need to remove that one on the rear panel. The front ones we do. Let me analyze everything. We'll see. But here we have one hidden screw that we need to remove. It looks like on the top. We don't have a screw, so if that's the case, you will not need to remove the trim piece. Perfect, this one is out. Now, 
let's go ahead and explain okay what else uh, we need to do we have multiple clips now here so we need to get a clip removal tool to a smaller one than a bigger one okay and This one is extremely tight guys It's extremely tight clips That we need to pop loose somehow So let's see Where I can actually start those things If I can start on the bottom <laughs> I have a really hard time getting that thing loose so let me see if we'll be able to pop that thing loose if the door panel has been removed one time in the past actually it will come out easier Let me get two actually big prank twos and we'll continue. So we got more prank twos and what I'm going to do, I'll try to come here guys, okay. Okay. Once you pop the first clip loose, things go easy. And you can at that point start popping them with your hands. Okay. Now, we need to come to the top, pull it out, okay, just like that. Now, on the clips, guys, let me explain where they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Double clip somewhere. The rubber gommets, if they're stuck on the door, pull them out and install them on the clip. Those will prevent vibrations, okay? That's why other cars, they will have less clips. If you broke any clips, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can buy replacement clips from. But I'll go ahead and install those because later I'll forget things will fall loose and then we'll have a rattling noise. So that's how you guys remove the door panel. You can see if you need to uh, just get it out at that point, all you have to do, just disconnect the uh, cable here for the interior door handle, which is by the way really easy. There is one tooth here and pull it out. Okay. So right here now, okay, there is one tube that we need to pry out, okay, to actually remove the cable for the window switch, rear window switch, okay, just like that. Now, in order to remove the exterior door handle or the window switch, we need to guys remove two big screws, one here, one on this side. Then we have two that are little over ones. And one over here. Make sure the door handle doesn't drop. With the window switch, I'll show you a trick now. Right here guys, okay, I'll hold it. Come here now. There is two clips on the window switch that you need to press in, one on this side, one on the other side. So kind of like press them in. So. Okay, that switch and door handle. It may be stuck a little bit. That probably hasn't been removed in a while, guys. Okay, one of the clips I cannot press in so give me a second okay I need to get a, a little screwdriver okay on this side and the door handle assembly with the switch okay came out you can see just like that now we can continue with the next step 
so now what we'll be doing guys okay we'll be replacing the interior door handle that starts falling apart and the window switch at the same time uh, if you need to just replace window switch it's still the same procedure those are the new gommets that we'll have here as well how do you guys do it now okay <laughs> this one just comes loose but uh, let us show you now right here you have one clip on the inside so you need to kind of like pry it to the side a little bit and then comes out now if you just need to replace the window switch it has four okay teeth holding it in place or so with a knife or a very very thin plastic thing you can go ahead pry okay make sure you pry this side out hold it turn to the other side and it comes out and that's your window switch that's how you guys remove okay the window switch on uh, BMW 5 series or if you need to replace the trim around it okay it's practically the same way we'll wipe it okay and we just let's go ahead and push it in now and you will see we'll be ready to go so the door handle now on the inside you come with a plastic prank too you just grab it okay and okay you can just grab start pulling it guys with hands here's a few clips nasty falling apart came out okay you can see the front one was even more terrible which is crazy 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 now we have the handle here we're going to go ahead align it in the holes okay perfect now we need to just press it in make sure okay it's clicked in now we're going to install the window switch which goes by the way okay in only one certain way just like that and now we're ready to uh, install it on the door panel so now i'm going to install it okay let me just wipe everything here i'm going to hold the window switch the door handle you kind of like need to go at the same time and okay now on this side as well i'm trying to see why that switch is not locking in place okay something is pushing it from underneath but all we have to do at that point okay come on the inside Looks like he doesn't want to come out here. But even if I install the door handle, it will not. So let me just see what happened here. Because it looks like it's not actually getting in like it's supposed to. all right that's it right there guys it just came out so both of them need to go at the same time and now only thing left practically is we need to install the screws so let me put the little guide screws now in okay i pushed it out again Perfect. Now I have one more on this side. Let's go ahead and do that one. Hold pressure on the outside. Put everything together. You can see. That's great. Now I need to switch to the other bit. And we need to install two more okay those are with the t30 torx 30 bit okay one here and one over there one more on 
this side. And now guys, okay, let's check it out. That door handle should look like a brand new door handle with a new window switch and everything's nice and smooth. So that's how you guys do it. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.